Welcome to another installment of Why I Am Not Religious. I'm going to talk about when religion justifies things. Religion sometimes preaches hatred. And while it also preaches love, love justifies itself. When you have a happy relationship between two or more people, a loving relationship, you don't need to be told that that's good. You'd have to pry the two apart to prevent it. But with hatred, you might still pause and think, is this really okay? Should, should I be hating another human being? Because deep within us, instinctively, we do want to preserve the species. It's a biological need. We can't constantly be killing each other or we'd have gone extinct long ago, considering how little we sometimes kill for. But when religion comes in and says, no, you should hate, it's okay to hate, that makes it much more likely that people will act on their hatred. It's a cliché to use Hitler as an example, but the reason it's a cliché is because it makes so much sense. What happened with Hitler was not religion per se, but he was made into a sort of god in people's eyes. They worshipped him as a god, and to call that something completely different from religion is merely splitting hairs. He came along and told people that it was okay to hate the Jews. This is something that Christianity had been doing for quite a while. Anti-Semitism was rampant back then. Hitler was just one of the only, you know, public figures to really come out and say that it was completely okay, it was completely right. It should, be all, it should also be remembered that most people did not actually know about the extermination of the Jews, only those who lived near the camps. But the attacks on the Jews, and in general, hate crimes, it's often when some authority comes along and legitimizes it, and says that it's completely okay to hate them and to be destructive towards them. And without religion, without that kind of without some authority coming along and assuring people that it's okay to hate and it's okay to attack the object of your hatred, it would happen a lot less. Because at the end of the day, when you stop to think about it, hatred The moment you stop hating, it really doesn't take that much to start caring about the people or the living being that you did hate. Because it's really not that difficult for us to actually care about the things that are alive. You know, empathy enables us to very easily care for anything that we can at all recognize as, you know, feeling living beings.